ridiculous. Did y'all see this coach, this football coach? Did anybody see this story? It's a little irritating. Let's see. It's probably going to be an ad. Nope. Yep. Last year, more than 30% of our business came as referrals. And for that, we thank you. Schedule your complimentary in-home consult. Yeah, we just get through that. Hold on one second. Let me turn the volume up. Heck. Park in Osceola County is hosting what's billed. Oh, no! This week, Austin Tyndall Park in Osceola County is hosting what's billed as the largest youth football and cheer tournament on earth, a reason to celebrate national competition. But it quickly turned ugly Monday with this incident. Oh, One of the shit. U9 division coaches punching a nine-year-old player in the head, causing him to stagger. A few seconds later, he comes back and knocks the boy to the ground. It appears another coach then intervenes, but no a few Wait seconds a damn later, minute. he comes back with this incident. One of the U9 celebrate national competition. But it quickly turned ugly Monday with this incident. One of the U9 division coaches punching a nine-year-old player in the head causing him to stagger. A few seconds later, he comes back and knocks the boy to the ground. It appears another coach then intervenes, but no one is seen in the video checking to see if the boy is what okay. What the hell? The word of the incident quickly spread through the crowd of players and parents. No, I wouldn't want that to happen to my son. Jordana Hudson and her son saw the video online. Oh, no, that was totally uncalled for. That can never happen. Can't. Uncalled for? Ma'am, you're speaking, you're minimizing a little bit. I would have been on that field and you would have had to get me off of this coach. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Who, who thinks they could just put their hands on somebody else's kid like that over a damn football game? It happened as a coach, as a parent. It's just totally unacceptable. I feel for the kid. Western News reached out to American Youth Football. They declined comment, but did send us a statement addressing what the coach did Monday. It reads, AYF issued the coach a lifetime ban from the organization and any of its events, including the 2020 National Championships. He is prohibited from entering the venue. The sheriff's office investigated the case of alleged child abuse, but the boy's mother refused to press charges, resulting in no arrest. Oh, yeah, because the former up. coach of the Savannah youth team was not charged, West 2 News is not identifying him. But he issued an apology in an online video saying, in part, I was wrong. There is no excuse for my actions. He forgives me and his parents have forgiven me. So, no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was wrong. There's no excuse for my actions. You know, he could have just said that. No, then he goes on further. He forgives me. His parents have forgiven me. So nobody else should be bashing me. See, this is the problem. When you take people of authority and put them in with these kids, how ignorant do you have to be? That was the worst apology I've ever heard. It was a worse about your ass should have been charged. Well, I, I don't understand. I, you know, maybe the parents was okay with some of this. Y'all seen them damn crazy football parents, baseball parents. They're out there. They're beating their own kid because they're screwing up. No, this, this is shit right here. You mean to tell me this is the first and only time he's ever put his hands on somebody else's kid in the name of football and he'd do it right in front of a damn game? What's going on at these practices? I call bullshit. Hey, so I was isolating that video that you just saw from the live stream and I wanted to add these two updates to the story. So y'all get the story and now the two updates. Pretty fascinating updates. Uh... Let's see, let's move this over here. All right, so y'all saw the video, y'all saw the coach, y'all saw, saw his statement, y'all saw the parents didn't want to press charges. Well, let's dive in a little bit more with his identity and, you know, let's tell you a little bit more about this coach. A uh, football coach seeing hitting child and viral video of Cheatham County Sheriff's Office employee. Cheatham County Sheriff's Office has terminated one of its employees after a video went viral of the employee hitting a player at a youth football game. Jarrell Williams was a coach for the traveling Savannah Gators football team 
and you can see him in the video hitting a player at the American Youth Football National Championship in Kissimmee, Florida on December 7th. Um, let's see, in a statement to Savannah Morning News through the team's Facebook page on Wednesday, a team spokesperson said that he was wrong and is fired from his organization uh, staffing, uh, coaching staff, excuse me. On the sideline during the game, Williams could be seen in the video slapping a player's helmet and with enough force to shift him off balance. It, literally the second time, it looked like he punched the kid. Anyways, it's completely despicable. And we saw that. So, let's see. Incident report continued. Williams then proceeded to scream in the player's face before shoving his head to push him off the field. So, there was even more that we didn't even see. Um, let's see, the person in charge of the uh, American Youth Football National Championship advised the officer handling the incident that the coach was expelled from the league and was no longer able to attend any more games. So, let's show you this over here. And yeah, it just got gets more interesting. And you know, you know, is it all forgiven? Parents forgive, the boy forgives? Well... The police department feel a little bit differently about that, so let's take a look. Coach hitting a child's helmet with enough force to knock him off balance. Moments later, he hits the player again, knocking him to the ground. The coach, identified as Jarrell Williams by the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, is with the Savannah Gators, a youth football team out of Savannah, Georgia. The team was in Kissimmee competing in the 2020 American Youth Football National Championships when the incident happened Monday. According to the Osceola County Sheriff's Office, the child's mother mm -hmm. didn't want to prosecute, but the Sheriff's Office and State Attorney's Office are moving forward forward with pressing charges as they Looking should at the video and how despicable and egregious the act was uh, of child abuse we then contacted our state attorney here and uh we were both in agreement that we are still going to forward charges of child abuse which is a felony Good. here in the state of florida Good. williams has declined to comment but did speak on the incident earlier this week in a facebook live video and saying i'm not going quiet. to make no excuses for what i did he continues and says i was wrong there is no excuse for my actions. He forgives me and his parents have forgiven me, so nobody else should be bashing me. American Youth Football also released a statement saying, we have been working with local law enforcement. This type of behavior is unacceptable and is not tolerated. In addition to the charges, Williams has been expelled from the league and is not able to attend any games. On top of everything, you are, you're setting the example. Although we, we, we identify one victim here, really, Probably the whole team is affected, and those yes. kids can see that and will remember that for a exactly. long time. Megan Milato, Wash 2 News. So, I just wanted to say a couple things. Um, the apology was pathetic. The behavior was pathetic. What was going on at these games, um, practices, you know, um, I feel like this coach was pretty dismissive over just out in public child abuse of somebody else's child and you thought a little quick apology and the parents being okay with it. I'm sorry. Any, like, like the sheriff said, um, the, uh, the whole team is affected. This, this coach worked at another police department. So, um, he, he's, he completely has positions of authority. He should know better and he should be punished for his actions. A thousand and ten percent. I don't care that the parents are okay with it. I don't care that they accept his apology. It's, it's ridiculous. You can't, it's not, people should not lose their temper that quickly with, pe with people they don't even deal with in their daily life. These are somebody else's children. It's not even like an adult he took out his anger on. Anyways, I just want to bring this to y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one.